The troops, though, troops are different. You gotta support the troops, right? Yeah. Wrong again. <laughs> you keep trying, but yeah, I, I'm not saying don't support the troops. I'm saying I, I support people on an individual basis. I gotta meet the troop first. If I meet the troop, he's a cool troop, we drink and he doesn't turn into a dildo, yeah, I'll support him. I'll support him no matter what he's, he does. I'll write his specific name on the yellow ribbon so they know it's just the PFC James Campbell or whatever his fucking name is, and then he can do whatever he wants. He could go AWOL or drop bombs on his own guys and Canadians or whatever, and I'll go, hey, he's having a bad day. I know that guy, I drank with him, he's cool. Right? But some troops are... Dickhead. Some troops have, you know them. They're some of fucking assholes. I was down in Colleen, Texas, by Fort Hood. There was a troop down there in a bar, and he wanted to hammer my head flat because I accidentally dumped over his piss warm draft beer. I, and he was fucking, you know how they get the fucking forearm swinging forward? The fucking monkey redneck fucking, oh, you want to kick my ass? I didn't support that troop during the war. I did not. That troop was a. Shithead, and I hoped he died first. That's the only reason I watched that boring. Yeah, yeah, no, I wanted to see his little peanut head explode on CNN on a choppy, sad like feed because he's a fucking asshole. He's not fighting for your freedom, he's fighting because he's a psychopath that wants to kill somebody. He found a good outlet, and that's good, right? That's why I'm pro war as long as it's voluntary. This war was voluntary. I mean, there's no draft. They weren't yanking kids out of the inner city and making them go fight a war. Everyone who joined the military joined the mil military because they kind of want to go kill other people, right? <laughs> and that's good. That's your instinct. Your instinct is your true God. Follow it. If you just want to fucking kill someone, there's a place for it. <laughs> the, go to the military. As long as people who kind of want to go kill other people are going to kill other people who kind of want to go kill other people, you're killing all the right people and opening up all the best parking spaces because people who want to kill other people are the last people I want to party with because I get mouthy when I drink. So go, you know, yeah, have a big killing free-for-all. Make up wars. Fight over Antarctica. Call it Manifest Destiny and do it on, you know, do 12 man teams from different countries on paintball fields with real weapons and put it on pay per view. Let it generate its own revenue so it's not sucking our fucking supplies dry, right? Military should be, you should be able to quit anytime you want. That way they'd really have to sell you on the war. They can't just like suck you in with, you know, some. Bullshit, 18 years old, where you don't know what you do. That's what people say. That's not true. They don't all want to kill people. Some people just join the military because they need college money. Then they're idiots, and college wasn't going to help. Right? There's plenty of other ways to get college money. Suck a dick. Rob a guy. Steal a car. Steal a pallet of that shit off the forklift you run at UPS and sell it out of a van on a highway off-ramp. Swing around the brass pole a few times, Jessica Lynch. You'll have plenty of college money and never leave West Virginia. Boom. Keep a war going. Don't have a war against terrorism. Jealous. Terrorism's a brilliant form of warfare, sorry. It's being used inappropriately now. The terrorists we have now, they just are bad at it. They're using it in an inappropriate and ineffective fashion, but terrorism is a form of warfare. How do you have a, how do you have rules for war? What's that all about? Oh, that's, uh, you know, the, uh, Saddam Hussein, he was ready to use chemical weapons. That's against the rules. Fuck you, that's a war, faggot, fight it or get out. <laughs> ain't no rules. It's like, well, yeah, what's a Geneva Convention? Is What's that sick shit? You got rules for, oh, we're, we're going to kill each other by the hundreds of thousands. Not us, of course. Poor people's kids. But if we're going to do it, let's uh, jot down some rules. right? Uh, what if they, can they hit them in the face with a garden rake? Gentlemen, what do you think? Yeah, okay, all right. Everyone in, yeah, hit them in the face with a garden rake is okay. What about uh, mason them? No, that's chemical. That's fighting like a fairy. No, mason, that's what girls use. That's fighting like a girly. Right? What is it? It's a war. If you attack me, I'm a weaker country. I will use any weapon I, I have. 
I will chemical weapon, nuclear weapon, girly eye gouge, sucker nut punch, dog shit in a wrist rocket, whatever's gonna keep you away from me. Oh yeah, it's a war. Fight it or quit crying, faggot. And yes, if you're in here and you're gay and you're offended that I'm using the word faggot, I apologize and I'll suck your dick after the show. Because faggot's way too good of a word, though. I just, it's a faggot. It's got to, you know, it's not a, even a gay thing. I, I, I'll suck your dick. I'll turn queer to keep the word. I don't care. My self-respect was shot years ago. I stopped succumbing to the... This. It's like cunt. Cunt is a great word, but it's more it's more impressive if you use it on a guy. See? Right? You're a fucking cunt. That's all you are. See how it's more powerful because it's confusing. It's like calling a redneck a nigger. They don't have no idea how to react. <laughs> right? Terrorism can work. I'm trying to talk my mother into being a suicide bomber right now. <laughs> well, <laughs> seriously, I mean, because she fits, she fits the profile. She's, uh, she's terminally ill. Uh, you know, basically, it hasn't been diagnosed, but <laughs> I mean, she's, she's been chain smoking cool, mild 100s for 48 years. She couldn't walk up onto this stage without coughing up chunks of green shit all over your nachos, like some kind of respiratory Gallagher event. <laughs> and she's miserable. She really is a miserable, angry person. I moved her out to Florida it's six years ago or something. I moved her and her seven cats, get them a one-bedroom apartment in Hollywood, and all she's done in the last six years is sit in that apartment and farm cats and, and chain smoke and bitch. Uh, it's down to three cats now with one kind of teetering on the fence because they just sit there in her apartment in the secondhand smoke they, 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 she won't even let them outside and have a decent chance of chucking themselves under a bus tire to fucking end it all right they go they, it's too dangerous on the street to keep the cats in so they, so they breathe a secondhand smoke and then it turns into third hand smoke fourth hand smoke That's what, the cats they're like furry air filters that's all they, all they are and they're not even furry because they're, they're, they're all greasy with nicotine like old curtains and they and they die right in front of her and she doesn't even notice for days because she's watching crossing over with John Edwards trying to fi figure out where she'll be in a month drinking dollar store Robitussin and trying to cure throat cancer it's not gonna work ma come on and she She's just a hateful, angry, just uh, hates everything. She hates the traffic, and she hates the neighbors, and this goddamn, she hates you, and she hates, just hates. She's like me without jokes. She's just uh, hateful. <laughs> but she loves me. And she'd do anything for me. <laughs> and she's suicidal. I mean, in, in a logical sense, like, it's not a desperate, I can't go on another day. And she's suicidal in that way. She knows that day's coming when, when the lung tumors get bigger than the breast implants. She's going to cash out. She's not, she's not a woman who wants to die with a lot of tubes going in and out of her, milking off the estate. Yeah, she's going to cash out. But instead of giving her the big bottle of Xanax and the quart of vodka like my brother and I have planned for her for the last few years, why not instead... Seriously, rig her up with some heavy explosives and have her take out some shit we all hate on her way out. Nothing with a political agenda like the terrorists of today. Oh, oh this will solve Middle East peace. Kaboom, no. Just take out some shit that we all hate. Some personal pet peeve that's an irritant. Have her take out a DUI roadblock or a Ashton Kutcher or you know, something that's an irritant to everybody. Something no one would complain about. Cause then Tara, did you ever eat a Subway breakfast sandwich? It's a damn good sandwich, is it? Cause it comes on the same bun. It's the regular deli style bun that all the other sandwiches, every fast food place has to put their 
breakfast sandwiches on something crazy. It's on a mixed pancake or a, you know, it's a flaky croissant or a, a wacky biscuit. But the Subway, you can put it on a regular bun and it comes, you can put vegetables on it. So it gives you the illusion that it's good for you. And I love the placebo effect. I'm a sucker for it. But you can't get it after 11. And I can sleep till one or nine at night, depending on what narcotics are still floating around in my system, right? But I still try to get the breakfast sandwich. And I'll go, hey, hey come on, man, uh, give me an egg and cheese. And the kid will say, I'm sorry, sir, uh, it's after 11. We put all that stuff away. He didn't put it away. It's in the second green cabinet. It's right there. Come on, it's, this place is as big as a photo mat. There is no away in the building. You don't own away. There's no Brinks truck that pulls up at 1102 and yanks out the eggs under armed guard. And he just, he just programmed to do this, so I don't want to give him shit. I mean, he's got enough shit in his life. He's got to wear a paper hat, and I'm a sandwich artist, polo shirt, and frat guys flick him shit all day long. Dang it, I said no tomatoes, dude. Put tomatoes on it. Shut it. So I don't want to pile onto his misery, but come on. Think, just think this one through. It's just, uh, uh, the entire breakfast menu at Subway consists of nothing but the egg. It's all the same sandwiches they serve all day long, plus an egg. You, you don't have to fire up the griddle for the flapjacks. And the, you know, it's not a process like other restaurants who really do have to stop at 11 because they have a real fucking menu, but you don't. You're just stealing their rule for no reason. It doesn't make sense, and I don't want to be a dick to you, but... It's not even a real fucking egg, man. This is a, this is a pre-packaged egg-like patty product that sits in a stack of egg patties in the second green cabinet. It's right next to the bacon that you serve all day. If I order a BLT right now, I'll see the away eggs sit right next to it. I see the eggs are not away, and I don't want to give you shit. I'm gonna give you one more opportunity. Think this through. Uh, please just give me an egg and cheese. And the kid's gonna say, "I'm sorry, sir." And I'm gonna say, no. This time, I'm sorry, mother! And mother, mother will come trudging in her, in her ratty terry cloth bathrobe with C4 explosives strapped head to toe, cool mild 100 in one hand, dead cat in the other, like Gail Sayers or a Heisman Trophy plunger, and she's gonna say, Goodbye. <laughs> and now terrorism has worked as a positive for all of us. Some big cheese up in the subway tower is going to read that story and he's going to go, why didn't he just give him the fucking egg? It's in the second green cabinet if they're going by franchise rules. And I wouldn't kill any, I wouldn't take innocent lives. What I'd do... The mother wants to go, that's her choice. And I wouldn't kill the subway kid because I'd get demolitions experts to rig mother to implode like a skyscraper. So she'd just go <laughs> And the subway kid would just go oh. But it would stay with him because he'd think next time, right? It's such a <coughs> it's such an amazing lack of logic that's prevalent in our society and everyone just takes it. We just take it. That's just the way it is. <laughs> it's tradition, that's our policy. Fuck that. If it's stupid, change it. That's the law. If it's a dumb law, don't have it, right? I'm trying to work on a system just to simplify it so I, like, I think we can, I'm working on a system where we can eliminate currency worldwide, where we don't even have to use currency so I don't have to figure out math and, Incomes and debt. I just replace currency with a system of blowjobs and cheeseburgers, because that's really all you need at the end of the day. Uh, nice car, I'll suck your dick for it. Uh, I just got my dick sucked. You, you got anything to eat? All right, here's a cheeseburger. You know? There's kinks in the system that I haven't worked out. Hindus, for instance, that's a problem with the cheeseburgers, and I gotta work it all out, but when I do, things are gonna change. Uh, all the other issues I'm pretty tight on. <laughs>